Now we are doing theorem 7 and we are given a circle with center O having tangent SR cot AB which subtends P1 and Q1. So what we require to prove is that angle ABR is equal to angle APB. Angle ABR, this angle here, is equal to that angle here. So required to prove that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to construct diameter BT. So it's start here, pass through the center all the way to the circumference. So this is going to be our T and we're going to join it with A and this is going to be T1. So what we know is that this angle here, which is angle SBA, is when added with this one here, plus angle ABT. So if we add them together, we should get 90 degrees. So the reason for that is tan perpendicular to radius. And the second thing is this angle here, angle B, A, T is equal to 90 degrees. Reason for that angles of semi circle. Right. So now we also know that since this is 90 degrees, that means that the addition of T1 and this angle here should also give 90 degrees. So the addition of angle A, B, T plus angle T1 must give 90 degrees, right? So now we've proven that this BAT is 90 degrees and the addition of these is equals to 90 degrees. So if we substitute, so for this one here, it means that if you're gonna say angle A, BT is equals to 90 degrees minus T and we substitute it to this equation here, meaning that SBA plus instead of writing ABT, we write this here, plus 90 degrees minus T is equals to 90 degrees. So the 90 degrees will go away, meaning that SBA is equals to T, T1. So this angle here, just proven that it's equals to S B A, this angle here. So we've just proven that. And another thing that you need to note is the angle T1 is equals to angle Q1. The reason for that is angles on same segment. So it's equal to this angle here. This is this angle equal to this angle here. So it's angles on the same segment, right? Therefore, since T1 is equal to SBA, that concludes and says that Q1 is equal to SBA. So it makes this angle be equal to this angle here. Therefore, ABS 
or SPA rather, plus APR. So this angle here plus this one here. If you add them together, it will give you 180 degrees. Reason is a straight line. straight line so q1 angle q1 plus p1 so this angle here q1 plus this p1 here if you add them together they'll give you 180 degrees so reason is opposite angles of cyclic quad right so angle a b s plus a b r will be equals to angle q1 plus p1 therefore since these two are equal because we said angle ABS plus APR is a cost 180 angle angle and then we said angle Q1 plus P1 is a cost 180 so they are equal to each other like this so therefore we can conclude by saying angle ABS is equal to Q1 and angle ABR is equal to P2 P1 sorry so you can conclude that this angle here is equal to this angle here, APR. And the same goes with APS, which is this one here. From here up to here is equal to angle Q1. So done for now.